Hi, I'm Rodney Sharp, owner and president of Sharp Grade International. Today we're going to talk about our quad grade control system and it's available in 2D and laser and sonic. So when it goes through its powering up stage where it loads all the programs and then it'll come up and the first thing it'll do, it'll ask you to verify that you are competent to operate the machine. So if you've been trained then you're allowed to continue. If you haven't been trained, then uh, you should not continue. So we push the accept button. Now it, it comes up with a second screen here, and that's because previously I'd entered an offset in when I was grading. So it asks you whether you want to accept that and continue with that offset, or you want to reset to zero. So if you have been using the machine and had to take the sharp grade off and do a, a job and then come back with the same setup and the same laser height then you would accept the offset but if you're starting a new job you would uh, reset the offset and this will bring the sensing of the laser receivers back to zero and we'll talk about that in a minute so I'm going to uh, reset the offset so this is what comes up on the screen now the two rectangles say it's offline and that's because I haven't plugged any sensors on so now we're going to plug some sensors on so there's the first sen sensor connected and there's the second sensor connected now this is the laser that we've got connected and it's telling us that it's not receiving a, a laser signal so it comes up with a cross if it did have a, a laser running on the receivers then it would come up and it will give you the, either it was on in range or it will be an offset and it'll, it'll give you the uh, offset amount on there. Okay, so we can raise and lower the blade directly from the screen. So if you're running a, um, a stand on skid steer that doesn't have uh, extra buttons, you can use it direct off the screen. And we can latch these together so that you can operate the left and the right hand side together or you can do it individually if you've got uh, extra buttons. You can also operate it with Direct Connect, which is off the joysticks or from the screen. So nice feature to have because it means you can raise and lower the blade uh, without having to remove your hands from the joysticks. We uh, also have a auto button, which we can switch it in and out of auto. And when it's in auto, it's, it's automatic grading and we'll keep the adjust height. Now, one of the great features of a quad grade system is we can do that straight off the hand control. You can see I'm pushing the buttons here, double clicking, and it turns it in and out of auto. So you could be grading in auto and take it out of auto without even taking your, your hands off the levers. So that's a really great feature that people uh, love. If you're running a sharp grade R grader blade, then the quad grade system has an additional screen. So when you push the menu, you come up with a manual blade function. And this allows us to manually control the blade directly from the screen. So you can control the side wings, open and close, you, on the left and on the right. And you can also rotate the blade clockwise and counterclockwise directly from the screen. Now it's the same quad grade control system, it's just got that extra layer of uh, manual override, which is great for if you're troubleshooting, if, if for some reason the buttons aren't working on your joysticks, you can check them on, on the screen. If they're working here, then it tells us that there's an issue in the joysticks. But it's, it's once you go to the adjustments, it's exactly the same as the standard quad grade uh, system that we've been talking about. So we can adjust the screen brightness. So let's say you're working um, on a bright day, you might want to increase the, the brightness of the screen and save it. Or it might be you're working at night and you want to dim the screen down, so you can quickly dim the screen down and have a dimmer screen so it's not so much in your face. So um, let's set that back up. We can, if we're running a Sonic, we can control we can set the the control height window and that's another discussion we'll we'll do with uh, with the sonic but uh, we can set that directly off the screen uh, we can do the target height offset which is the same as your offset of your grade height um, you can set the green zone dead band now 
this is it does not affect the way the system operates what it is for is it purely to give the operator an indication of where they are in relation to the grade so if we set this it's in, in metric at six millimeters which is a quarter of an inch in imperial uh, that is plus or minus an eighth of an inch or plus or minus three millimeters so any time we're within that range the receivers and on the screen will indicate green which means you're in your target range if you want to be more precise you can edit that and shift it down to say one millimeter which is plus or minus 0.5 of a millimeter which is very tight so if you were doing a bowling green or something like that you would set it to a very tight tolerance like that but you would have to uh, grade quite slowly to repeat it does not affect the response rate of the machine it's purely an indication for the operator to know whether they're on grade that they've that the in the margin that they've set or not so units so we sell these all over the world so we can do them in in millimeters we can do them in centimeters tenths of an inch or a hundred of hundreds of a foot so they're all available directly off the screen and you can change that at any time and whatever you prefer so if you have one operator that works in uh, tenths of an inch or you're going to a, a, um, a site where they work in inches you can set it to inches or if you're working with a uh, in, in feet and hundreds of a foot you can just change it and uh, save it and there it's done so nice simple feature straight off the screen now we can set gain so we have a different gain for our laser or we, when we're running a sonic now the gain is a response rate and we'll have another discussion about what gain is and that but basically the gain if you have gain too high the machine will become unstable if you have gain too low then the machine will not respond fast enough and you'll get large long waves and so there's a there's an optimum to be had and that's to do with the natural frequency and the response rate of the, of the entire system so it varies a little between each machine but it's easy to tune and it can be done straight off the screen once again if you're running a sonic you can set the gain on the sonic because the sonic responds at a different rate to a laser and the gain on the slope sensor so we use a slope sensor to set our crossfall when we're running with a sonic once again it has a diff because it's got a different um, response rate and a different natural frequency we set that individually so we can set all of those things completely individually straight off the screen and another really good feature is the manual up down speed so you can set the speed at which it responds and reacts straight off the when you're using it in manual so that's whether you're using it on the screen or, or on the on the joysticks so if you're having to do some manual grading and you want some very precise grading then you can adjust this and turn the speed right down and, and that means the blade will just barely move when you're commanding it and that means you'll get a nice very precise um, grade but when you're using it in auto you want it to re and, and you want to override it you want it to respond faster so you, you turn that rate up so this is one of the few systems that will allow you to adjust the manual override speed so when we have our manual override we can it'll manual override in manual or auto so when you're running an auto if you push the override buttons it will override the auto system and it will allow you to raise or lower the blade um, irrespective of what the control system is telling it to do when you release your your finger off the button if it's in range in the in the laser or or in the sonic um, it will it will then automatically go back to grade so if you're pushing and you and your your box is full and you're having struggling with uh, traction you can raise the the blade by overriding it uh, break free and then as soon as it comes free you can let off and it'll go back to grade and start grading and then you've only got a small portion which you need to go back and regrade so nice feature to have and that's straight off the screen so that's the adjustments we can do we also have a uh, diagnostic screen which is straight from the operator's screen now normally the diagnostics is hidden back in the back of the machine uh, in the system but we put it right on the in the in the front so the operator can access it and and it makes it very good for diagnostics or um, if you if you're troubleshooting so what it'll tell you is it'll tell you um, if the buttons are being pushed 
um, it'll also tell you what's being connected. So there's four sensors at the moment that are in red which tells us they're disconnected and that's because we can run a slope sensor and a sonic on left and right. It's telling us that the left and the right hand laser receiver are connected so they're online. And it's telling us that our control module is online as well so we can look at this quickly and say all our wiring from our machine down to the sharp grade is okay because everything is online and communicating. That tells us all the CAN bus system is um, is operational. So uh, just a nice simple thing to have. We can go to the next screen and we can register the currents that are, that are going. When, when we operate a function we can look at the currents online. So it's really good to see and if we register current on the line that means that all the wiring out to the solenoids is correct and the solenoid is drawing current and then we can look somewhere else if you've got an issue. Um, it also tells us the battery voltage uh, that's being from the supply, it tells us the battery voltage at the, at the CPU and it tells us the battery voltage at the screen. So very quickly we can identify if the battery voltage um, is low getting there then we've got a problem on the main supply. If there's low battery voltage a high bat battery voltage there and there's low vo battery voltage to the screen that tells us there is a, uh, a a wiring fault on the on the uh, line to the to the screen so very quickly you can diagnose things straight off the screen and you don't have to ring a um, um, technician and get them to come out and put a code in to get get into all this information so just a nice feature um, incidentally we've never actually had to use it yet but one day we will and that's when it'll be um, find it very valuable and then you can quickly go back so this is when you have a little electro hydraulic front retracting wheel or if you're running a turf grader you can control the, the front retracting wheel or the turf grader uh, directly off the screen so you don't have to have any other wires or joysticks to operate it so nice and clean straight off the screen and that's back to the to the main screen. Now I've got two uh, laser receivers connected here. Uh, let's say I wanted to offset my um, grade. I can simply push these buttons here and raise it, or I can reduce it there. And I can go plus or minus 124 millimeters, which is just on plus or minus five inches. So we can we've got 10 inches of of range that we can adjust. So really good feature. So uh, not only can you do your very precise adjustments because this goes up and down um, by in millimeters. Um, it if you're coming to a site and you find that it's maybe four inches out of out of level or 100 mils, instead of having to get out and shift the the lay, the receivers up and down, you can just offset it here by um, 100 mil. Now if you hold it down it will start rolling and it'll roll very quickly. So you can very quickly um, make a large adjustment but then when you when you take your finger off and do individual presses it will go up and down by you know a millimeter which is like one thirty second of an inch. So very precise. So you can rapidly raise your offset, grade and then drop it down another another half an inch or, or 12 millimeters and then keep dropping it down so it's nice and simple to uh, to do your offset. It's one of the number one features that people like with the, with the quad graders and that comes standard on all quad grades is adjustable grade height. Uh, we use true 360 degree receivers, laser receivers, which means they will sense fully 360 not like 270 on a lot of others um, and it's standard on the quad grade. So that's just some of the features of the of the quad grade. The quad grade is, the screen is IP67 and it's ruggedized so this can handle a drop from one meter or three foot six six inches. Uh, it's fully waterproof so this is IP67 rated which means you can immerse the screen in water uh, for 10 minutes and it will uh, be fine. Uh, and so it's one of the most rugged screens you can buy in, in the industry and it's designed specifically for um, open cab machines. So if you've got a, uh, a stand on skid steer, mini skid or an open cab um, wheeled machine 
uh, this is the, this is the system for you because it's designed specifically for wet conditions. Um, it's got a fully vacuumized screen so that it doesn't get condensation in it. Um, so it's it's a very rugged, reliable unit, and it's nice and compact, not too large, and uh, very robust. So all the all the buttons are um, are rubberized, so it's completely sealed on 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 the outer face. One other feature of the quad grade system is it's fully upgradable to 3D and it can have any 3D system overlaid onto it. So if you're running a Leica 3D system, you can overlay the Leica system on top of the, the quad grade uh, or a Trimble or a, or a Topcon or a MOBA. So they all overlay. So you do not have to ditch all of the quad grade system uh, if you want to upgrade to 3D. So you can still run the quad grade in 2D and when you want to uh, run in 3D, then you run your normal 3D system and then just revert back to the quad grade when you're running 2D. So a really nice feature to have. So if you want any more information, go to our website, which is www.sharpgrade.com. There you'll find plenty of links and information and, and brochures that you can download. So um, I encourage you to go there and have a look and uh, we'd be... Uh, um, more than happy to oblige, so uh, thank you for your time.